Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? Who was forging the Maitama? Who was forging this? This is the Jizo Maitama, right? Like to me, well, to me, it looks like it, the Have sword from Honkai. This sword, um. <laughs> you guys play Honkai? I hope you guys play Honkai because mm -mm -mm, that sword, that sword is from Honkai. Look at that sword. This here looks a lot like the sword from the trailer. There we go. See that? Uncanny resemblance. Oh my god. Imagine. And it's purple too. Look at the aura. That and this. I'm going to give you like a few minutes to like look at this sword. The patterns are different though. Yeah, I'm sure that the patterns are different. Some quick lore about Jizo Maitama, right? He is... Oh, I'm I'm very late when it comes to Honkai lore. Um, he has a relation to the pressure of corruption. And um, Kazuha grabbing it? Yeah, interesting. If his family was the one who created these swords... That's crazy. Look at his eyes. Kazuha's been staring at that sword like intently. Look at those eyes. This looks like a room. See that? When I touched the hill for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. This is not related to Golden Apple. I'm thinking, I'm coping, because I just want Hoyo to make different stories. But where is he? Look at this room. There's a line. Is that lava? Where are we? These look like structures to me. These things right here. It's like a part of on the side here. Let me get my freaking mouse. Like, yeah, these things could just be like a bunch of rocks. But the way they're put, and structured it looks like an entire structure oh look at that castle oh my gosh look at that castle wait give me the castle wait a minute wait a minute oh look at that it's huge but it's more monstad right it's a lot more monstad looking than um conria and like i could hear her it's special you guys know it's special look at that look at these everything's floating um, these things over here on the sky, right here, it looks like, I don't know, something from, something from, um, the Fantastic Compass thing, the, the, the chaotic space. The logos and the symbols that are used here, because the only gothic, um, points, gothic roofs are these things. And these things right here, yeah, there we go. This is ah. Um, current Monstad symbols. Yeah, they're yeah. It's Monstad inspired. Like, look, see these symbols right here. Yeah, kinda, but not really. It's a pain to compare. Like that one, and these things. The way it's built seems like it's a floating abode style castle on top of the archipelago. Um, I think it's inside of a weird tear <laughs> in the sky. I think it's Monstad, but it's official theme, yeah. Or you know, it's their castle. <laughs> oh, okay, what's this? This looks like a completely different place. Thorny trees. Another, oh no, it's another one of these things. Uh, Triketra. This place looks a lot like the um, the place that, the, the chaotic space. Yeah, there you go. It looks like the chaotic space. Look at that! It's a it's a mess of whatever's in there. Ah, uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Sea of Quanta, everyone. That's that's it. Look at this boat. Why is there a boat? Why is there a boat? Isn't that the Crux boat? I'm pretty sure that that's the Crux boat. Why is it there? This is probably Kazuha's. I don't know Kazuha's dream ish. Like how the chaotic space like messes with people. And this is probably Kazuha's backstory too, a bit. And then this one, um, probably Kazuha's too, because like that's the Crux fleet. Which person in the group in 2.8 that is included would be related to Beidou, right? And the Crux fleet, that is crazy. Right? Obviously, this, this is the chaotic space. I'm banking that this is another part of the chaotic space. Like, look at that freaking boat. What is that? 
what the gate of dreams then maybe we are in the chaotic space like that gate i'm pretty sure that gate would lead us like it starts from the the boat thing and then we find a sussy gate and then we're led into other gates like what happened in 2.7 and then um what else could happen maybe we end up in kazuha's side of the story right and i think i don't know who has a um a story quest here kazuha and mona i guess official probably is gonna get a hangout i don't know the gates here there you go see this thing right here this looks like somewhere our sibling would be running away from or into like that first scene back in the trailer this point here where she was oh that is loud as heck this point here where she was running the hallway in um this thing here kind of similar but not really she's running in the abyss completely in the abyss and then here it's a i'm just guessing it's a part of the hallways within the abyss or like in conria look at that what is that constellation? It looks like freaking Yeah, it looks like we're gonna play with the constellation moving the stars and stuff using these. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. You never know, you never know. And then Mona too. Finally, right? Some story for Mona. About the abyss too. Now if this is the abyss, like if that's the abyss, then Mona's been busy. That constellation. What is that? Anybody know is anybody doing astrology at the moment? Look at that. Is that like freaking Capricorn or something? Who is that? Oh, it looks like a it looks like a sword or a boat. Is it a boat? It looks like a boat. Praise be to the princess. Hey, look at that. More flower. Oh, is this a golden apple? Hello. Haha! <laughs> Tiki Hoyoverse hiding in the corner. Okay, now we know that Fischl's castle is in the golden apple, which means that every other zone slash bubble slash space or area in the entire trailer is a part of golden apple all apart from mona's abyss scene which could be a separate character story or a part of the inner tower and kazuha's interaction with the mysterious sword which could be either his own character story or is part of his imaginary space in the golden apple but now there's a bigger question why is all this in the golden apple archipelago oh we're back to golden apple let's go Oh, it's an Inazuma themed um, golden apple. Okay, an extension of golden apple. Look at that. It looks like Keisa's. I mean, it looks like Kazuha's ultimate, these things. This one, though, is weird because all the trees here in this first scene are all like pine trees. I don't see any trees around here that looks like Inazuma trees. And then there's this. Inazuma themed area. Like, look at that. It just, it's probably just another part of the Golden Apple Archipelago. <clears throat> so we're all like traveling. And then, and then here. Maybe this is where. Hello. The sky here, right? Let me. The sky here is way too many stars. Yeah, it looks like the abyss. We're. <laughs> this is Mona's. This is oh my god. This is like the stars in the abyss. Unless like Mona's side of the our golden archipelago is because like it's nighttime. When it's nighttime here, you can't see anything. Like like the sky does not look as bright as um everything else. See, the only place you could see that is like floor twelve of the abyss. Which is interesting because maybe that's the actual sky, right? Uh, uh, am I making sense here? Yeah, yeah, that's the actual sky. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm thinking that the Golden Archipelago is like some sort of Bermuda Triangle at this point. And this here is the real sky that we see. This isn't um, the Abyss sky, but it's basically most likely Fischl's sky or like Fischl's imaginary place and the tear here is most most weird <laughs> I find it funny that they like covered or like didn't include that part I see it's just gone before it goes to the middle and then Kazuha's mind like 
look at this guy. This guy here versus the sky in here. See that? There we go. That's the real sky. Like, see that sky? That sky is like so freaking bland compared to the one in the Golden Apple Archipelago. Because if the sky in the Golden, Archip Golden Apple Archipelago is the abyss sky or like the real sky, then the Golden Apple Archipelago is like some sort of hotspot or I don't know, like think of like the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> of Genshin. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I think. I know that some part of some parts of Golden Apple Archipelago is Mondstadt and um, Golden Apple Archipelago is in the Dark Sea. Um, I don't remember. Is it? There's a reason why we couldn't go there like normally and like the mists the mist things there's also like illusions and everything. Um, we can only go with this because uh, I'm, I'm too I'm too lazy to like read every book again. When you say Bermuda Triangle, it's like Mondstadt connects to Liwe and both connect to Liwe. It could kind of make a triangle like the Bermuda Triangle so it could be connected to like that. Yeah, kind of. What was I saying? Since the Golden Apple Archipelago and like when people go there, they most likely like have a problem trying to get out. Because like remember those illusions? and the currents that like try to detour or like diverge whatever boats are going into it that's why i think it's the bermuda triangle the the, the golden Ar apple archipelago <laughs> it sounds crazy <laughs> but <laughs> that's 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 how that's how theories are everything's crazy we're all crazy yeah and like if you compare golden apple to bermuda triangle it's where everything that's lost and like unknown go to basically they're, they're, they have that same premise about them oh bubbles oh look at that look at that bubbles why are we talking about bubbles <laughs> Bubble universes, bubble worlds. Oh man, I want bubble tea. <laughs> See, seeing all this. Oh my gosh. These are actually bubble universes. Look at this. The island stirring strings, misty hills, foggy veil, Immernak tri trich, trich. Oh, I'm butchering that. And temple of the star latitudes, and then surf piercer. This is a cheeky way to do this. Um, Hoyoverse. As summer comes into his own, Fisher receives an important missive and departs with everyone in tow to begin another marvelous sojourn. Okay, so that's how we ended up in that island. Among the many phantasmal conches. Uh oh, more conches. Look at that. I wonder if we're gonna hear. Oh no, no, whoa, hello. So not only are we gonna hear them, they're also gonna be phantasms. That's cool. I love phantasms. Please, Hoyo, give me phantasm character. Among the many phantasmal conches scattered around the Golden Apple archipelago. Okay, confirmed we're back in the Golden Apple. Some might play the voices they recorded when being touched. Okay, this is basically the same as the conches that we found in Golden Apple. But uh, this one, they're called Imaging Conches now. Am I looking at that correctly? Is that a Assassin Mage? What is that? I'm hoping that's Assassin Mage. Maybe maybe I just don't see Assassin Mage that often. Okay, so everything about facial story is going to be in Golden Apple Archipelago. And we're going to find something there. I am like... 70% sure that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna find something in the Golden Apple Archipelago and then on with Fischl's story, the castle. Temple of the Star, this is probably where Mona is gonna be at. This is Kazuha's and then this one's interesting. This is the Surf Piercer a while ago. Yeah, this is most likely Mona's. Oh, money? Oh, okay. Is this co-op? Are you telling me this is co-op? Oh, please be co-op. Oh my gosh, I want to go to Golden Apple Archipelago and have like a boat race. Oh my gosh, it is. You can actually boat race with people. Finally, how Golden Apple was supposed to be. Now please let us keep it, Hoyo. Let us keep it. I want to keep this. During a spontaneous visit to the Dawn Winery on a summer day. Dawn Winery? Okay, so this isn't. The Traveler in Paima noticed something from the past that might pose a threat. Aww. All right. As of right now, the only place that I could find is this right here. It's the only. It's the only thing, right, that matches the photo or like the video that we see in the trailer. And this, I this. Oh crap! And this side here is the only thing I could find that would look like the one in the trailer, as well as this wood right here. See that one is on the trailer too. 
So it's most likely gonna be here, the Dawn Winery thing. So it's not the Golden Archipelago, it's in Mondstadt. Evermotion Mechanical Painting. Oh, we're gonna paint. Felix Yog, a person from the court of Fontaine, seems to be having some problems. Oh, look at that! It's another thing I'm a jig. Oh, a Deluxe kid. Oh my gosh, look at Deluxe hair. Holy crap, I do not have Deluxe at the moment, but I want Deluxe now. Am I the only one who thinks that he looks like a, uh, what are those, the agents, Fatui? And his vision. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is actually Fatui, right? Oh my gosh, look at his hair. Uh, the ponytail. Oh, hello, Rita. <laughs> is this Rita? Um, I'm guessing this is free. Look at, oh my gosh, she looks like Rita. And she's wearing a ring. Two? She looks like, um, if you guys played Honkai, the Rosemary Valkyrie. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's all a mess in my head. I can't, can't process all of this. It's so mysterious how hilly churls come to Golden Apple. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, true. <laughs> it's weird that they're there, but like, everywhere you go, there's hilly churls, right? That's why I think that, let's say the ancient civilization, the ones with, um, primordial one, anyone who was left on the surface and wasn't um, submerged in the water like say Ankonomiya or the chasm. Anyone who was on the surface, I'm thinking like turned into hilly churls. That's, that's, that's what I think. I don't know. I'm gonna have to like read up again about golden apple. <laughs>